Hi, my YouTube family. We are going to be reviewing everything that is in this fun little basket right here. And this is all about Essence Cosmetics. These are the best products that I have found from the line that I have tried that I've fallen in love with and that I use all of the time. They're really, really good products. And most of these products I will have on my face today. I made sure that I wanted to demonstrate them for you guys. So if I don't have a product on, I'll make sure that I tell you that too. The other thing is, is that some of these products I've put in dupe videos before. So I'm gonna list my dupe playlist below so that you guys can see it if you want to. So let's get into the video. But before we do, please give this video a thumbs up if at any time during the video you are finding that you like the video, I would really appreciate that so much. Okay, I'm gonna start with some of the things that I have recently found that I love, and then I'm gonna kind of work up to my number one favorite thing in the line. So the new recent thing for me is the color corrector, and this is in the, in the color green. I use this on my, on my redness all over my cheeks right here, a little bit on my chin, when I'm doing, before I do my foundation. And I have been using the Maybelline, which I do love the Maybelline. I think it's a great product. However, I do like this one too. It's a bit of a thinner formula. So it sits just a little bit lighter underneath the foundation. And the other thing is, is it is just a little bit lighter in color. So for my scarce, fair skin, this works out really good. And if you do have deeper skin, it can be built up. So you could put another layer on there and build it up until you got it to the point to where you needed it to be. But I've really found that I like this and there is a lot more product in here than there is than there is in the Maybelline Master Camo. Also, one of you guys told me about the Essence Make Me Brow. This is in soft brown and this is supposed to be a dupe for the Glossier Boy Brow. I don't know because I've never had that one before. I do find that this one can get a little bit goopy, so I have to really wipe it off or else I have to kind of wipe it off into a tissue a little bit, but it's a super teeny tiny little brush, which is so nice. And what is really great about it is if you don't have a lot of eyebrows in a certain place, this will help fluff up your own eyebrows and help them be a little bit more voluminous, which I really like. And it sets down your eyebrows for the day, which is really great. Now my daughter uses the clear gel from them and she absolutely loves it, but I like this one a little bit better just because it's a little bit more along the lines of the color and gives it a little bit more volume, um, even though I do use a pencil as well. But yeah, I really have been enjoying that one. This luminous matte bronzer, this is very new to me. Now take a look at that, you guys. It looks like it's the color of my skin, right? It's not a bronzer. I would say that this uh, at best is a, uh, a setting powder. But you know what this reminded me of as I was putting it on? You're not going to be able to see that today. But as I was putting that on and kind of using it, it reminded me a lot of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. And it's got just that tiny bit of luminosity in it. It's not overpowering to where you're gonna look like a disco ball or anything. I did like it. I now, will say that this is a little bit more powdery, but I find that those hourglass powders are a little bit more that way too. You just have to use a really light hand and a really fluffy brush. The one thing about this for me is that it's more along the lines of the peach undertone or you know the warm undertone. So if they got this into another color, I think I would really, really like it. But if you have a warm undertone, I think this is gonna be so good for you. I, I did use it today and it did give my look a really nice luminosity about it, but I wish that it just had another tone to it that was just on a little bit on the cooler side. But, but I think that's a great product and it's brand new out. Okay, for their powders, I have two of them. I have the regular All About Matte Fixing Powder and then I have the Brighten Up Banana Powder. The Brighten Up Banana Powder is my very favorite. I use this all the time to set my under eyes, to set my whole face. I think this powder is so great. It's luxurious. It is creamy. It just feels so good on my skin. And I can reach for this and have the same effect that I do from a lot of high-end powders. So I really like it and I like how it does brighten up my skin. That is a really great powder. The other one, the All About Matte, this one I don't reach for as much because I already have a problem with some dryness. But if I am going to somewhere where I want my makeup to last all day, 
to be set all day, then I'm going to choose this one. Now, what I will tell you is that I haven't tried this one in flashback or anything like that. So I don't know how this would perform, you know, like in HD flash. I have no idea. But I do know that the Brighten Up does not give you any flashback. I have tested that one. But this one is really good, especially around my nose and right here in the crease where I get in my chin crease, where I get a lot of um, makeup that gets separated. So if I'm going and somewhere and it's going to be a hot day, I'm going to use this one. Also, I got their satin blush. This is number 20 Satin Love so soft when you dip your finger in there you guys and that soft wash of color i have it on my cheeks today that soft wash of color is such a good shade to go with just about everything it's not too pink and it's not too peach it's just the right combination of the two and even though it says that it's satin i don't find that it has hardly any sheen i'm somebody that really likes to do a fairly matte blush and then do my highlight over top of it so this one is really good for me and i just loved how it looked on my skin today and if you put this on before you powder you are going to have a blush that stays on all day because it's going to kind of meld with your foundation and i haven't had a problem with this you know disappearing through the day or anything so i really like that one the next thing that i absolutely love from essence is the i love stage eyeshadow primer this is such a good eyeshadow primer you guys because it has the opacity and it will make whatever you put on it just kind of pop so it's flesh toned and it's it doesn't like go away. So it's gonna like cover the redness and it's going to be there and it's not going to like sheer out like so many do. So whatever you put on top of it, it's really going to make that eyeshadow pop and it's going to last all day long. Doesn't crease, just have not had any problems with it whatsoever. And they, when they say I love stage, they fashioned this after stage makeup. Stage makeup was designed for those hot lights. It was designed for a ton of makeup and it was designed to last a long time. So definitely have been in love with that one since I picked it up. Also, I really do like their super fine waterproof felt tip eyeliner. Look at how fine that tip is, you guys. It is so, so fine. So I can get super duper tight into my top lash line and all it does is just make my lashes look longer instead of, you know, making me look like I have a line up there. But I wanna show you guys how fine that is. It is just really super, super fine. And as far as it being a shiny or matte, I would say that it's neither of those. It's somewhere right in, in between. I don't have a problem with it looking like it's metallic or shiny or anything like that. But I noticed that it doesn't really look matte either so i i love it i think it's the best of both worlds and i think for the price of it you really can't beat that you do sometimes i do notice this when i wear a lot of shimmer on my lid i do sometimes have to put two coats of this on just to get it dark enough but that's just something i do with just about any eyeliner and then i also recently found the velvet matte lipsticks this is in 03 i don't know if it really has a color or not it is what i have on today for my lipstick this is a formula that is not like your typical bullet lipsticks. And when I say that, it, it feels very velvety when you put it on. You know how sometimes when you can put on a lipstick and you can tell that it's gonna be super thick or um, extra creamy, that kind of thing? That's not what this is, but if you put this on, I mean, look at the color, it's super saturated and they had some pretty colors. They didn't have a lot. And this one is along the lines of a median rose. But what I do is I put this on and it does almost feel like a liquid lipstick. Not to that point, it's really hard to describe. So I put it on, I will blot and then I'll put another coat on and then I'll blot and I find that that lip color will last me all day long. Now I don't normally just wear you know lipsticks during the day I'm always putting a lips a lip gloss on top but even after all that wears off I will still have that color on. It's just a really good formula for the money. And okay and so what I do have on top of that is something that I have had around me for I can't even remember how long ago I bought my very first shine 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 lip gloss from them these are just juicy they're yummy they have this one is in a pink color it has just a tiny bit of color to it that will lighten up the look i'm wearing just a little bit which i really do like it's not one of those that's super sticky or super tacky it's just a really 
pretty lip gloss. They have it in a bunch of colors. I love how they make your lips just have that little bit of iridescence and that little bit of glow, but then they have the other colors that are just, you know, either the clear or the plain colors that are, you know, the color themselves. So these are some of my favorites for sure. I just wiped my hand, you guys, and everything came off except for the eyeliner. All right, so this duo right here has been my holy grail for two months now, I would say. I heard about this from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats. Kathy was talking about this, how much she loved this. It's the Volume Booster Lash Primer. This is a really good lash primer. It makes any mascara that I wear on top of it look more voluminous, look longer, my lashes look longer, and it makes it last. I have had a problem with Lash Princess in the past lasting throughout the day without a little bit of flaking. I love this for its volume. I love it for its length. Everything about this, except for at the end of the day, you know, eight hours later, I'm gonna start to have flakes, which I, I'm not happy about. But using these two together, I don't have that until I actually wash them off. This primer though, it is a little bit thicker. So I find that I am wiping it off, before I go into my eyes, because if you don't, you're gonna get a few little clumps in there, but it's worth it to spend the time wiping off the wand, because then once you do, you do have those gorgeous long lashes. So I'm gonna show it to you there, but more than anything, I just feel like it's a really good base for your mascara. And then the Lash Princess, I'll show you the wand on this. You guys, I did hear that just today, Essence released a waterproof for, uh, formula of this, and I can't wait to get it. I'm hoping that it comes to Ulta really soon. But the wand is just really kind of a, you know, a Christmas tree wand that comes down at the base and is bigger at the base. I don't find that the wand is anything spectacular, but I find that the formula is extremely buildable. Um, you're not gonna get the crusties when you let it dry for a second and not be able to go back in without getting, you know, the clumps and stuff like that. So I just, I think this is one of my favorites. Have you guys tried a lot of their other mascaras? I think I've only tried like two or three other, other of their mascaras and have really not been as pleased as I am with this one. So if you guys have, let me know in the description box below which ones you've tried that you really love. Okay, my last two products are their highlighters. This one right here is the Pure Nude Highlighter that I just talked about very recently in my 20 favorite uh, products from 20 brands. This is my very favorite product from Essence. This is such a good highlighter and the reason is, is because it gives you a very um, soft glow look to your skin. You're not gonna get a highlighter that makes you look like, you know, they can see you from outer space. You're just gonna get that soft glass-like candlelight glow. I don't know how else to explain it. It's not a stiff product by any means. It feels very silky in the fingers. It lasts all day long and it just gives a gorgeous, gorgeous glow to your face. Now I'm not wearing this one today, but if you have a bride or you have a wedding coming up and you want to just give that diffused glow, this looks so beautiful in any light. So I would highly recommend that. What I do have on today is their space light, their pure nude space light. This is just fun. It's a different highlighter that has kind of an icy look to it, but when it's gotten onto the cheeks, it gives just a little bit of a pink cast to it as you turn your cheeks. So you guys can see it right there. Isn't it pretty? It's just so pretty. And I do have it on today on both cheeks. And it just has that just very subtle, again, look to it and kind of a candlelight type glow to it, but it does have the little bit of a pink to it. So I really like that as well. So that is all of my Essence products that I absolutely love. I think that this is a line that just keeps getting better and better, but there are a lot of misses in there, just like any other makeup line. That is everything for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it, and I really appreciate you spending some of your time with me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to have you as a part of the family. Please give the video a thumbs up as always. And as always, I wish you all very good health and I will see you all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.